egg omelette. Yo, it can be very simple and it can be a bit technical with a ton of ingredients in there. I guess dependent on flavors and textures and everything else that you like. Egg omelette three ways. Today we're gonna do the very basic version. Next Sunday we'll up the ante a little bit and the Sunday after that, yeah, we just increasing the level of flavors and stuff like that. What I may recommend is getting a, a frying pan with low size. Notice how shallow it is and the reason for that, and, and you know, if, use what you have if that is the case you will be able to better flip the egg with that low side. The high side, you, te you tend to have to go down like a, with a sort of a shovel motion. Um, yeah, so something with low sides works best. So your pancake pan, whatever it is. We'll need some black pepper. We're keeping it very simple, as I said. Some, I've got some sea salt. Use your favorite salt. I've got three eggs in a bowl here and I cracked them before and I put it in a bowl in case there were any shells snuck in there it would be easier to remove it with another bigger piece of shell. I have some butter, some cheese, your favorite cheese just you know and the amount that you like yeah because I know Caribbean people love cheese man. Um, I have here an aged cheddar that I just grated the texture and stuff like that, the grate is, it doesn't really matter too much because it will, the heat from the egg will melt it down. And the only sort of other flavor ingredient, I have some fresh chives here from the garden that I just chopped up. I said, we're doing this one very simple just for you to learn the basics first. I'm just going to turn my stove on on a medium heat. We're going to toss in the butter, and that's salted butter. If you're cutting back on the amount of salt in the diet, you can obviously use unsalted butter. The three eggs, I'm gonna hit that with a bit of black pepper. And you can finish with black pepper as well too if you want. And I'm just gonna use a fork, you can use a whisk. And I'm just gonna mix that thoroughly. We want that yolk to really mix in there. And by doing this, we're gonna add air in there. And if you saw the scrambled egg video that I did a while back, yo, that video got a ton of views. And this is the why, and this is the why. <laughs> yeah, this is the why I'm doing omelets now. And again, three ways, version one today. It is because that video was well received. By adding that air in there, you're gonna get nice fluffy, you see that? That's gonna make for fluffy eggs, man. I didn't put the salt there yet. We're just gonna move around the butter just to make sure. And where the rivets are, I want some of that butter there because I don't want that egg sticking on there later. And then I might have to clean up and yo, we're trying to make breakfast challenging before and after. I'm gonna move that around one more time, like so. Yo, and in the other versions of omelet that I will share with you in the coming, coming weeks, there will be a ton more ingredients like the bell pepper and, and, and mushrooms, onions, um, so many, your tomato, some nice cherry tomato bursting with flavor. I'm telling you boys, so all we're gonna do now is hit that with one more little whisk and I'm just gonna pour it into my pan. Within 30 seconds or so you will see it's, it will start to set. And if you're wondering why I didn't add my salt yet, I, I tend to find that the salt breaks down the egg once I start whisking it. I'm just gonna pull it aside, push it down. Keep moving it, keep moving it. And by giving it those layers there, by pushing and pulling, what we're gonna do is get layers of egg. It's almost like a croissant. <laughs> croissant! Uncle Chris going Francais on all their backside this morning. What I like doing at this point here is adding my chives because I want some of that chive throughout the egg on the inside, yeah? I may top it up later with a little bit more, but for now we're doing that there. Just gonna keep moving it. Just gonna pull it down one more time. Move it back. Just gonna turn my heat down. I think my heat is a little bit too high, so I'm just gonna turn it down 
I'm gonna hit it that bit of sea salt. I'm gonna go here, the most cooked part, with that cheese. And you can use your favorite cheese, as I said, and in the amounts that you want. Then all that's left to do now, let's shift that just a little bit more. Starting to collapse on me there on the end over here. But that is cool, I'm just waiting for it to set a little and then I'm just gonna push down and start lifting it like so, yeah? Then I'm gonna reach over the other side, do the same thing, flip, flip, flip. It isn't the greatest looking. This always happens when you're trying to film something. It doesn't turn out the greatest looking, but you see that? Just gonna give that about five more seconds. And while it's not pretty, I am telling you, that is the ideal. I just want the, the warmth to go through and melt that cheese a little bit, make that center nice and creamy. If you want this overdone, I mean with color, with some dark edges and all that, you can keep it on there longer. I'm on cool like that. I'm just gonna take this off the stove now. Sup <laughs> soldiers? Listen, if you enjoy this recipe, I'd really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and click that bell notification thing. If you've made the recipe, take a picture and send it to me, email address down here. I'm mean, trying to tell people the email address, them butts will take the address and do all kind of thing with it. And tag me on Instagram at Caribbean Pod. I really appreciate you guys and thanks for being in my kitchen with me today. Irene, Irene. And while the egg didn't cooperate with me, while we were flipping it there, you get the whole idea behind making this very simple version one of three egg omelet. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me. I have some cherry tomato from the garden. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna hit that with a tiny bit of sea salt as well too, just to bring out that sweetness from the tomato um, a, a bit more chives on the top look out for version two and three of egg omelette three ways coming soon